Hey everybody, everybody, I'm back. It's Scott Gold with another Mukbang After Dark. <laughs> Not intentional, it just happens to be dark again and I'm out running errands all day doing stuff. So I'm super hungry, it's probably six o'clock and I still have grocery shopping to do and you don't wanna go grocery shopping on an empty stomach. That's a huge mistake, so. I am at one of my favorite places, and it is Raising Canes. And if you haven't been here, I would definitely recommend it. I got the um, Caniac, which is, I think it's six strips of chicken. Yeah, I know. Okay, I haven't eaten since breakfast. <laughs> but um, it comes with... Uh, six, six strips of chicken and french fries, a uh, coleslaw, and this this bomb sauce, I have to tell you. The sauce is amazing. They give you two containers of it with this particular meal and these little sauces. And uh, they uh, that's like one of the best parts about it. Um, and everything here is a combo. It's just depends upon how many pieces of chicken you want. You can order it like individually, but why would you? I mean, when you can get this stuff. Oh, and it also comes with the Texas toast, which is delicious. Um, and for the drink, I got a sweet tea, which I also love, you know? Um, super good. So let's dig in um, and pretend like I've never eaten here before. <laughs> Here's what the chicken looks like. Super scrumptious. Mm. How you doing? Mm, mm, mm. Awesome. Love it. Mmm, I haven't eaten since breakfast. Oh, I had a surprise this morning, um, breakfast in bed. How nice is that? French fries are really good. Everything is super hot. You know, if you have time to relax on a Saturday morning and or a weekend and you're honey, gets up earlier. <coughs> Excuse me. That is awesome. You know, it's like different people's love language. <laughs> Doing things for you is mine. I just love that kind of stuff. Some people like mine loves receiving gifts. I'm not, excuse me, I'm not really, I don't really care much about gifts. But you have to adapt to what they like. I always feel guilty, like, getting gifts, you know? Like, I feel bad. The coleslaw, let's try that. The coleslaw is very, um, I'll see if I can show you. <clears throat> it's very... And I apologize again for it being dark and you can't see all that well, but this is the time I'm eating and I'm on the go, so. The french fries are really good. They give you these nice brand name, which I'm kind of a brand name snob in regards to ketchup. I absolutely love ketchup and I love it when a place gives you the Heinz. Thank you. Um, I'm probably not gonna eat it because it's hard to like balance ketchup on this plate and I'm already balancing a whole plate. So, <clears throat> the Texas toast. This would be awesome even with just like 
to make a sandwich with you got like an extra piece of that and put some of the um chicken and the sauce on there would be super good they have a sandwich too and i've had it it's very good um but it's really just the same chicken strips on a bun with um lettuce and tomato and it might even probably it's probably the same sauce so i don't know you're better off just getting the meal i think they have like a two piece a three piece a four piece so i pulled up and they were like on the microphone they're like what's popping what do they say what's popping thanks for stopping and the background was <laughs> crisscross jump playing <laughs> i was like oh wow y'all are having a good time in there Good for you. You should have fun at work. So I'm in front of the Amazon Fresh store because it was either this or the LA Fitness Executive or something like that. And I thought, you know, that's just would kind of be cruel <laughs> to eat this in the parking lot of the fitness center with people going in and out to go work out. And here's me eating this lard ass chicken plate. <laughs> so, you know what, I'm considerate, all right? <laughs> There's a Mariano's grocery store a little bit further down, so. I could, uh, I'm going to go shop there, but this is much more quiet and secluded. And the last mukbang I did, it was at, um, Jollibee's, which I have on my channel. If you want to go take a look, that was the first of the new series Mukbang in the dark. Grr. <laughs> it's not intentional. It's just, just so happens to be dark. I'm under these light lamps or lights. So, you know, once you're in the car for a while, the um, <clears throat> interior lights like shut off automatically. And I don't know if that helped or not, to be honest. Maybe if I, there. Does that help? It'll give us a few minutes anyway. No, oh, it shuts right off anyway, so. Oh well, we tried. But yeah, the Jollibee's was my last one. And uh, the chicken was good. There wasn't a lot of spice. This one has a nice spice. It's not hot. It's just extremely flavorful. And like I said, the sauce is bomb. So I usually order an extra sauce. And, you know, they charge you for that, which is fine. So this meal was $13.99. But... This is definitely filling. Like, you may not even finish all this. Sometimes I, when I'm at home, I'll just eat part of it and save the rest for later. Um, although the fries, I mean, everybody knows, eat the fries now because they're gonna be crap. You can't save fries, you know? The coleslaw's, you know, good. It's it's not extremely creamy, and it's very finely chopped. I kind of like coleslaw, like when I make it, that is like bigger pieces. This one's a little bit like KFC's. Um, why is this person staring in? What, haven't you ever seen somebody do a mukbang in, after dark? What the hell? Okay, move on. 
they're gone. <laughs> they're probably thinking the windows are all steamed up. What is somebody screwing in there? <laughs> At the Amazon Fresh store? No, no, we're just uh, filming a mukbang. So it's a good thing I'm a talker because you probably won't really see other people on my channel just because my loved ones are extremely private. And I am too, actually, believe it or not, but I started making videos, I don't know, a couple of months ago, and it's just kind of been fun, you know? It definitely wouldn't have been something I ever did, but it was actually my friends on YouTube, um, Cynthia and Adam, who got me to make my first video, which I never thought I would. And one of the things was because, like, when I go on other channels, you know, you just, you comment, and people don't know who you are, you know? They don't have any concept of, other than the profile picture, anything about you, anything about your personality other than the silly things you <clears throat> type during lives and whatnot. So I was like, you know, that would be kind of nice to... Let people see who I am a little bit. And, but, like I said, um, it's just going to be me because... <laughs> you know, they're... My loved ones are not into YouTube. Which is fine. So, <clears throat> to each their own, you know? And honestly, it makes it a little hard because you go places and you do things and it's like, okay, you can kind of only do things that you're by yourself or things that you can exclude <laughs> others from the camera so <clears throat> there's so many things I would love to make a video of but uh, some of my friends are okay with it so it depends on uh, who I'm with so like, I was with my college friends over um, New Year's, and I made a little video, but I only included, like, one friend, because that was the only one that wanted to be on camera, and she uh, actually has a YouTube channel, too, so, which I don't recall the name of it offhand, so... I made a video of, um, I went to this really awesome, uh, auto museum that I didn't expect to be a big thing, and it was, it took, like, all day. It was so cool. I loved it. Um, what was the name of it? So I shot a bunch of stuff, <clears throat> excuse me, with my friend Nikki, and, uh, she, uh, She's the one that was okay with being on camera, but I was kind of shooting it because the place is, is huge, and uh, there's all these different buildings that they have, and it was all, you know, it was like vintage um, cars that were completely redone. It was, um, I mean, hundreds of hundreds of cars, and then they had celebrity cars, um, Britney Spears, Mercedes that she was like in the tabloids tearing all around Los Angeles um you know getting into accidents and stuff like that they had her car there they had um 
oh, um, Aaron Spellings, um, Rolls Royce there. Um, all kinds of things. And um, we spent like the whole day there. They also had motorcycles, but they also had um, vintage toys, vintage arcade um, games. <clears throat> they had uh, like like from the fifties, like travel trailers, like when that was when those were first, I guess, coming out. And it was so interesting to see. I mean, everything is all redone, and then you know a lot of these cars. Um, they also buy and sell, like, high-end, you know, cars, um, classic cars and things like that. And so, uh, it was so cool. So, I want to, I have a bunch of footage from that. And I could use that because it was, um, primarily, I was careful just to shoot, uh, the cars are, you know, stuff with me in it, so. But, you know, some of it has, like, music in the background. So I have to figure out how to, like, put music that you can actually use on YouTube. Which I'm sure is not difficult, but I don't know. It's going to take a lot of time for me to do that. And, uh, you know, it's just, when do you have the time? I kind of wanted to do it because, uh, so my dad could see it. I was really just filming videos of things to show him in the beginning because it, um, it, like, it's a ton of walking and, he's not very well, so, um, there's no way you know, you'd be able to, you know, people that can't be on their feet for hours at a time. Excuse me, would be able to uh, go there, I don't think, so. I thought it would be nice to make a video and show you that. That's the problem with editing, you know, it's like, you have to try to go through all that and then edit it down to, you know, the important stuff or whatever, so. I enjoyed, you know, learning about that, but like I said, oh my gosh, is it time consuming. Even for simple you know, things. It's just, you look at your watch and you're like, oh my god, why did it take that long? So. <clears throat> I hope everyone's having a nice Saturday. It's like 21 degrees. And, uh, I hadn't realized when I left it, the house it was still cold like that so I always okay these are my favorite wet wipes these Germex brand ones I love them we would buy these by the case we were always kind of like germaphobes always you know long before the pandemic hit and then it did and these were like impossible to find, you know, well, any kind of sanitizing anything, as you I'm sure are well aware, was hard to find. So, um, thankfully we had like stockpiles quite a bit, but, um, I don't know if they're available now. Does anybody know if you can buy these again? I had, um, the wet, wet ones brand you know they the towelettes that look like this um they smell nice you know the wet ones do too but um 
So, I don't know. Are these any different? I mean, it, I'm kind of like, well, these are more for, like, sanitizing your toilet. Is that going to, like, <laughs> do you use the same wipe that you use on a toilet seat <laughs> on your hands? <laughs> Is there anything wrong with that? I don't know. Um, I have keep a thing of them in the car so that I can use them on the... Uh, cart shopping carts, you know, before I go into the store, because you never know if they're actually going to have any or not. And more times than not, that bottle that they have is, first of all, like the cheapo brand that are, there's no, like no, nothing on them. They're completely dried out. If you're lucky enough that they even offer them. So I just keep a bottle in my trunk usually they're frozen rock solid <laughs> it's like i was going into a store the, or the other day and i was like go to pull one out damn they're completely frozen well i hope i don't catch anything so i usually usually wear my gloves you know leather gloves because it's 21 degrees out, you know. And I try to wear those while I'm in the stores and stuff like that. And um, so that was that was good, you know. It was very good. Um, I try to wear those in the store and things. And when you get to the thing to put your credit card in, you know, the to insert your chip and then put in your pin and all that. Well, then you have to touch the freaking terminal. And when you do that, you can't wear the glove. Believe me, I've tried. Um, Cause it like doesn't read it or something. So the struggle, you know, what can I tell you? You try, right? So I love to carry these because uh, Honestly, if, I, if people want to, like, look at me like I was crazy, I'd probably first swab down <laughs> the kiosk before I touched it. So, anyways, thanks for joining me for another mukbang in my new series, <laughs> Mukbang After Dark. Hopefully the next one will be in the daytime and you can see better, but... Canes. Raising Canes is the name. Absolutely love it. And if you have one near you or you're passing by one, I would highly recommend it. Thanks for watching.